time to finish one citizen insurer enters into a four year contract. The contract requires the insured deposit of 500 into a fund that earns an annual effective rate of 5%, from which all claims will be paid. Okay, so this is a four year contract, so it will be grown by four years. And on top of that, the insurer expects that 100 new claims will be paid at the end of each year for the next four years. So 100. The payouts will also be accumulated for four years and are effective of 5%. Now, since we're making an initial deposit of 500 and it's growing, on top of what it's growing, we have to pay out certain things. So that's why we subtract this amount. Now we wanna solve this, right? Because it says that, okay, so I'm gonna do uh, 500 times uh, 1.05 to the four. Okay, 607.75 minus 100 plus the payment for the number of years, five of the interest rate, zero, that's the equation of value to the huge amount, 7431.01. Now we're gonna so it's gonna be one seventy six point seventy four. So now this is after all claims have been paid. So uh, the insurer is required to return seventy five percent of the remaining fund down to the insured, which means that he's only able to keep twenty five percent of this amount, right? So we're going to multiply it by 25%. We're going to get 44.18. Now it says to issue this policy, the insurer incurs 100 in expenses today, right? And then it collects a fee of 125 at the end of two years. And uh, he manages to receive the 25% of what of the four year contract. Uh, 44.18. Now we want to find insurance yield rate, right? So I'm going to erase this. Okay. Now, uh, to set up an equation, well, we know that we have to pay out 100 in expenses, right? But uh, we also want to use time for as our comparison date, right? So we're going to start with 100 in expenses. We're going to accumulate it to four years, right? And uh, what we also notice is that um, we collect the fee of 125 at the end of two years. So um, on top of this expense of 100, we want to pay it out eventually, right? So we're going to subtract 125, accumulate it for two years, and we also want to subtract 44.18. So we can reduce our expense. Now we set zero, set as zero as everything. Now we want to We want to use our gains to subtract it from our expenses to pay it out. Now you want to set up a quadratic equation. So I'm going to do 1 plus i squared equal to x. Now I'm going to do 100 x squared minus 125x minus 4, 4.18. Then I'm going to set negative 125 as b plus or minus negative 125 squared minus 4a c okay. uh, over 2 
Now it's soft, so I'm going to take 125 to the 2, minus 4 times 100 times 4, 4, 4, 2. I'm going to get 3, 3, 2, 9, 7. Radical that, 182.47. So 125 plus minus 182.47. I'm not going to subtract them because this is, it's going to create a negative amount. So I'm going to add them. So I'm going to do plus 1.5 divided by 200. And I end up getting 1.53 as X. Right, so let's solve for I from here. I'm going to bring the 2 to the other side. Then I'll just subtract 1. Then I get that the answer is 23.99, which is rounded to... 